and I am just sketching the skull in now. All right, so today I saw on Instagram my friend Bulbasaurian, I believe that's how you pronounce it, is doing a challenge right here. I will pop it on the screen. So basically it is the, it's a Pokemon like Halloween challenge. I thought it'd be cool to make like a little video on me making it skitty, which I didn't really know too much about, so I had to do my research and look her up on the screen too. It basically, it's, uh, the challenge says to draw a Skitty in a Halloween costume or a Halloween variant. Just fusing Skitty with uh, Cubone, because Cubone is my favorite Pokemon. Here's some artwork that I actually got commissioned by Bulbasaurian. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. But it is really cool. That one, uh, those are my two favorites. And then these are my other two. Those so, are um, the new Pokemon, Fuego, I believe, and Cyndaquil. So those are cool and this is a uh, sand shrew and cuba. Pop this glove on and we're gonna start this up. Okay, so here I am mapping out how the pumpkin's gonna look. I'd like for the skitty to be on top of the pumpkin. And now I am doing the sketch for the skitty, which keep in mind I'm putting cubone's skull on top of this, so it's not gonna look the same as this. I'm just trying to get the rough sketch out. Here's me looking up Cubone, because, you know, favorite Pokemon, but don't remember what he looks like off of my head. And I am just sketching the skull in now. So I was having a little bit of troubles, like, with the perspective on this one, because you don't really see Cubone in this style, or this, it's not the style, but this perspective. But I think he came out okay. Also, I added uh, his tail. I took off those three lines at the top and made it into like a ghost. His eyes were a little janky, but I just kind of kept them the same. I mean, the skull could be a little bit tilted. Also, I wanted to give him a bone leg. I thought that was kind of spooky. Ultimately, I'm happy with that overall. So I was first uh, deciding to do the whole thing pink and just keep the same colorway, but then I popped on white as you can tell and it looks so much better. Now I'm doing the shading. I usually just take the selector and do that. Now I'm doing line work for the pumpkin. Also, this didn't come out perfect with that right eye, but it's a pumpkin, so it doesn't have to be too good. I wanted to give it this kind of like pinkish tint too, but here's Skitty on top of the pumpkin, giving that shadows as well, and there's the final piece. Also, let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Thank y'all. Alright, so that is my Skitty Halloween contest. Um, pretty cool. I do love the, um, the contrast of colors, because at first I was doing the skull pink as I said before but the white really makes it pop. I have done a Halloween Pokemon drawing like once a year now that I think about it. So, see, this is where I store all my Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards, but those are some of the drawings that I made in the past, Pokemon themed. So I thought those were very cool. The Halloween bulb was always pretty dope. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave me a like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I will be uploading, trying to upload every Wednesday, at least every week from now on. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah, thank you for watching and please go down to the description. Uh, like I said, follow Bulbasaurian. I will have her link down below. I'll have my link to my Instagram down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.